What a mental session. 29. Jason, double take. Well, we've arrived at our all-time favourite UK fishery, Churchwoods in Brentwood. This doesn't look like much, it's only a one acre lake, but it holds some true monsters. Jason and I have two objectives this trip. My objective, I want to catch a catfish on a float, basically a pike float. And Jason wants to catch the infamous shovel mouth. Shovel mouth. So, we're going to get set up, get everything ready. Let's do it. I'm excited. minutes it's only tiny but it shows that they're feeding well in true church with style just like last time the robber's only out 10 minutes and it's gone this is a little baby so I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna get him straight back and we're gonna get the rod straight back on that spot <laughs> they are cool when they're this size it goes. Literally just brought the boat back, and it's and it's gone. I'd literally only just had to put it, turn the alarm on. <coughs> Welcome back to Churchwoods. This is the second fish we've had now in less than 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we always get into the net and disappear. Yeah, beautiful. Well, here we are, my first cat of the session at church was the rod was out there literally one minute i was i was putting the rod down on the alarm setting the tone on the alarm and it screamed off in my hand couldn't believe it hopefully we can get one of the bigger ones next hi well it's gone a little bit mental for the past hour and a half we've been fishing one rod and we've been catching pretty much every cast it's gone a little bit quieter now we've had a few runs um but the rods are back out now in prime spots um, <laughs> but the rods are out in prime spots now so hopefully it's just a matter of time where it goes and hopefully it's a bigger one a lot of people commented on the last Churchwoods video that asking why I was using a boat and the salient fact is it's easy to get a lot of bait in a boat to put over your hook bait rather than having the spot all the time if we've got the capacity to use a bait boat then why not I, I don't see the issue I mean, if people have a problem with that, that's their problem. But it's not going to stop me using a boat. But anyways, Jason's just uh, chilling out, having a beer. And what I'm going to do is sit back and, and wait for another bite. So can get another bite. Woo! He's in. Just had a double run. Two catfish. We've got no rods out, so get these two back. And then get the rods back out. <laughs> This is, by Jason's estimations, our 11th fish. Yeah, I think it is. Which is just... Mental, huh? Absolutely insane, considering we've only been fishing for about four hours. Feels like we've got a bigger one. Oh, that's definitely bigger. Like... Yeah, much better fish, that. I'm not gonna panic yet. It's definitely given a much better fight than the other fish that we've had. It, mate, nicely done. Hold on. Well, I wasn't kidding when I said it was a big fish. This is a UK PB from it, 54 pounds, which I'm quite buzzing about. It's uh, unexpected after the small fish that we've been having, but I'm absolutely buzzing. Look at that! That is a proper catfish. 
I'm well happy with that. Off he goes. Lovely. My UK PB. Look at the head. Main man. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> a pang. That was unexpected. Was that at 35 seconds? It's definitely 100% one a minute. <laughs> well, I think I finally hooked into something a bit better potential. Just as me and Kenny predicted, just as night fell, we've had two much better fish, and this one's coming at 43. Um, yeah, you know, as soon as it's got dark, I think the smaller ones sort of try and disappear, and the bigger ones come out to play. But yeah, we're happy with this. Super, super happy. <sighs> Looks strong, look at that, straight away. Boom. See you later, mate. Absolutely made up with that. Well, today has just been absolutely ludicrous. We started fishing at about two, half past two. It's now 10 o'clock. Um, we've had 19 fish out, 19 fish. It's just been absolute chaos. And I am now going to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. No, no. Since I had a 50 pounder, I thought I'd let Jason fish throughout the night for a chance to catch one of his own. He ended up catching eight more catfish with the biggest being this one at 44 pounds. 44 pounds, I'm gonna slip it back. Right, let's get the rods out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just filming a B-roll. He's in the net. <laughs> Fish number 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like it's continuing the next day. So, the beginning of this trip I had uh, a plan to float fish for a catfish, but I think I'm going to set ourselves a team target now of 50 fish. So that's 27, that would leave us with 23 to go. That's what we're going to aim for now. Mate, if I hadn't reeled in last night, genuinely, if I hadn't reeled in last night, I'd, we'd probably be at that mark now. I'm going to hit it hard and uh, yeah, hopefully we can hit the 50 mark, that'd be insane. Just enjoying a nice Lucas Aid sport. And the rod's gone. It's only small, I feel him shaking his head like a madman. But this is gonna be fish 28 if we can get him in. Fish 28 didn't pay off, it came off. Yeah. Number 28. Bye. 29. Fish double take. No, this one's off. Fish number 29. Off she goes. Fish number 31. So for those who watch this channel, you know I'm not big on rig talk. However, I'll run you through this really quickly. It's as simple as a running lead onto a hair rig with two 20 mil pellets, which are held on with a stop. There's not much more to it. Fish number 33. Hey, Finn, hold my foot on. Fish number 34 is in the net. Fish number 35. Number 36. Yeah. That's this many. <laughs> so this is fish number 30. 
six, I think. Probably 25 pounds. They fight unbelievably hard here. This pulled like a 50. And it's a testament to Steve's fish keeping, I think. Nice welcome fish after a little bit of a lull. We are gonna slip him back and hopefully his daddy comes along. Hooked up into fish 37. <laughs> no. Pet's still on. Hook's still razor sharp. Straight back out. Get him in. We've got fish. Pop. Just like that. Here's my prize. Fish number 37. Absolute beast. See you later, mate. Fish number 30. I was just chilling out in the bivvy after a nice big dinner. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely screamed off. One toner. Park the burner, we've got a churner. Wow. This is what they call a slam dunk in American football. A home run in volleyball and a goal in badminton. In the world of fishing, so they say we're in. So we're absolutely shattered now. <laughs> Not a big fish by all means, but just another. Well, that was fish number 38 which is just obscene if you ask me. I never would have expected this if you told us at the beginning of the session we were going to catch that many fish. But it's happened and we're 12 away from our target but it's not looking likely of how dry the bites are now but we'll see, we'll see. Well, night time is upon us. We've got four rods out. We're on 39 fish, uh, 11 to go to hit our target. Hopefully we do it. We're both pretty tired. Jason probably more than me because he was up all night catching fish. Yeah, we'll have to see what the night brings. Probably see you soon with the fish. They always go left, don't they? Hmm. For some reason. It's definitely a better one. I think so, yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's better. So, fish number 40 taking the worms underneath the dumbbell. My biggest one of the session so far, coming in at 55 pounds. Absolutely made up of this fish. We've worked so hard for one of the bigger ones. If we end on this fish, I'll be a happy man. Off he goes to fight another day. 55 pounds. So cool. When you're ready, mate, I've got you. Oh, he's turning around. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. Looks quiet throughout the night. Really had one run on the right hand rod which didn't avail to anything. Uh, but other than that, nothing really came. We've just put the uh, the rods out for another couple of hours before we leave to go home uh, in the hopes that we can snag number 42, but 50's not looking likely, unfortunately. But I really couldn't ask for much more from a trip. Yeah, maybe we'll see you in a minute with another fish, but maybe not. <laughs> what a mental session. So 41 fish in probably like 30 hours of fishing. It was absolutely relentless. It's time to leave Churchwood's Fishery, but I'm sure we will return. We will be back. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want more catfishing content, head to the videos on screen now. How ridiculous. Oh my God. We've never had a session like that. Nah. I don't think we'll ever top that. Nah. In, in terms of no, not how many we caught. Nah, no way.